everyone, my name's Sam and I'm from Ayurveda Latvia and this is Nico and today we're going to tell you a story about the moon. Yes Nico, should we tell a story? A taste of the moon. What do you think the moon tastes of? Does it taste like chocolate? Does it taste like pizza? Does it taste like cheese? I honestly don't know. So, this story has lots of animals. For example, this animal is very, very slow. And it's green and brown. And it has a shell on its back. What do you think it could be? What do you think? <gasps> You're right. It's a tortoise. One of the animals in the story is a tortoise. So let's put him over there. This next animal is very big. It's got a long nose. And it's got two big ears. What do you think it could be? What? You think it's an elephant? You are correct. It's an elephant. This next animal has a very long neck and it's very, 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 very tall and it's got spots. It's spotty. What do you think it could be? You think it's a giraffe? <gasps> you are correct, it is a giraffe. A beautiful giraffe with spots. Very good. This next animal is black and white and it can run very, 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 very fast and it looks a little bit like a horse. What do you think it could be? Yes. It's a zebra! Well done! Fantastic! Now this next animal is sometimes a little bit angry and it likes to say Rah! What animal do you think it could be? Come on, tell me. Yes, you are correct. It is a lion. Fantastic! You know all of your animals. Well done! There's one more animal here that I'm going to show you now. It is brown. It's got two arms, two legs and a long tail. And it likes to swing from the tree. And it says, what animal is it? Yes, it is a monkey. Okay, so let's begin. A long, long time ago, the animals wanted to know the answer to a very, very important question. And the question was, what does the moon, what does it taste of? Does it taste like chicken? Does it taste like pizza? Does it taste like ice cream? Well, the animals decided to look for the answer to this question. One day, a tortoise decided he would climb the highest mountain. And on that mountain, he would stand up super tall and he would try to taste the moon. But the tortoise stretched and stretched and stretched and stretched but he couldn't taste the moon. Look, it's too high in the sky so he couldn't taste it. So the tortoise called the elephant. Yes, 
And he said to the elephant, he said, elephant, elephant, climb on my back. And maybe we can reach the moon and taste it. The elephant climbed up the mountain and on to the tortoise's back. And he stretched and stretched his long nose up to the sky. But he still couldn't reach the moon. So he called one of his friends. He called his friend the giraffe. Because the giraffe, whoops, has got a very long neck. So he thought maybe he can reach the moon. He said, giraffe, giraffe, come, come, climb on my back and maybe we can reach the moon. So the giraffe climbed up. He climbed up on top of the tortoise and on to the elephant's back. And the giraffe stretched up his long neck. And he tried and he tried, but he still couldn't reach the moon. So, the giraffe called his friend the zebra. He called his friend the zebra and he said, Come, zebra, come, climb on my back, and maybe we can reach the moon. So, the zebra climbed up the mountain, he climbed up the tortoise onto the elephant and on to the giraffe and he stretched his neck up to the sky but could he reach the moon? Mm, mm, mm. No he couldn't. The lion was the next animal to be asked for help and the zebra said lion, lion Come, come, climb on my back and maybe we can reach the moon. So the lion climbed up like this on to the zebra's back and he stretched up like this but he couldn't reach the moon so he was a little bit angry. I said the lion, this is an impossible task. But they were getting closer and closer to the moon. So maybe if they asked another animal, they could climb up. Let's see. The lion called her friend the monkey. And the lion said to the monkey, Come, come, climb on my back, and maybe we can reach the moon. The monkey climbed up the mountain, onto the tortoise, onto the... What's that? I've forgotten. Ah, yes, the elephant, onto the giraffe, onto the... Zebra and finally on to the lion and the monkey reached his arms up high and stretched and stretched and stretched but could he reach the moon? No he couldn't. Oh dear, oh dear. The tortoise said oh no Maybe we will never taste the moon. But just then, the monkey had an idea. He called his small friend. What friend is that? Squeak, 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 squeak. <gasps> what do you think could be in the box? What's in the mystery box? <gasps> it's a Monkey called his friend the mouse and the mouse climbed up all of the animals on to the monkey's back <gasps> and look what happened <gasps> can the mouse reach 
reach the moon? He can. And the mouse stretched up his hand and he took a piece of the moon. The mouse took a little bite from the piece of the moon like this and said His favourite food is cheese. Next, the mouse gave the piece of the moon to the monkey. And the monkey took a taste like this. Mmm, delicious, said the monkey. It tastes just like my favourite food. It tasted like... Banana! Yum, yum, yum. Next, the monkey gave the piece of the moon to the lion. And the lion took a bite like this. <coughs> oh, delicious, said the lion. It tastes just like my favourite food. Sausages. And he gave the piece of the moon to the zebra, who also took a bite. Mmm, delicious, said the zebra. It tastes just like my favourite food. Orange, very good, it's an orange. The moon tasted like orange for the zebra. The zebra gave the food to the giraffe. said the giraffe. It tastes just like my favourite food. Apple. And he gave the piece of moon to the elephant who took a little bite. Oh, said the elephant. The moon tastes just like my favourite food. It tastes like pizza. Is that really your favourite food, elephant? So the elephant passed the moon to the tortoise. Mmm, said the tortoise. It tastes just like my favourite food. It's a fruit and it's red. It's called straw. Strawberry. Now all of the animals had had a taste of the moon. And it tasted like all of their favourite fruits. And do you know what happened? After all their hard work climbing up to the moon, all of the animals were very, 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 very sleepy. And that night, they all went to sleep with big, full tummies. The end. There's only one more thing left to say and that is stay home and keep reading. Bye for now. I will see you again next time, everybody.